Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've done a haul and I asked on Twitter and on Facebook um, if you guys wanted to see kind of a collective haul of things I've purchased because I went shopping in Germany and a lot of you said that you would really like to see one so I'll go ahead and just show you a lot of cosmetic products that I bought recently and um, clothing and stuff like that. I got a haircut recently and I decided to like change it up a bit so I've got some like really shorter layers up here and I didn't actually take a picture after I went to the hairdresser because I don't like how they style it. They style it very conservatively so this is kind of more how I like to wear it um, kind of like that bed head messy disheveled look just kind of like you know a little bit crazy so yeah just got some like shorter layers up here the ends um, the back is all kind of like one length because I've been trying to grow out the longer layers so I've really been on a blush kick and I've been really wanting to pick up some new blushes because I've just kind of been playing with the ones that I've have for years and years and I haven't bought new blushes in ages so I picked up two from Alverde and that is actually a German, it's a like a natural cosmetic brand. I just picked up two of the colors from Alverde and if, if we don't have this brand here in Switzerland. So I got these two and they do look actually really similar here on camera. Um, this one is called Pretty Terra, number three. So this one is Pretty Terra and this one is called Desert Rose. This one is like a lighter, uh, like a lighter pink tone, and this one is a bit more terracotta shade. And these are very inexpensive. I don't exactly remember how much they were, but um, you know, really cheap. You can get these at DM. It's like a drugstore chain in Germany. I'm actually wearing this one today on my cheeks um, here. So I'm wearing a highlighter, but then I'm wearing um, this blush by Alberti on top, the um, Desert Rose. And then another blush that I picked up is from MAC. Um, we went to the MAC counter and um, this is actually a blush I've been wanting forever and it's called Fleur Power. Maybe I'll put it like this, it's probably more color accurate. There you can see it and it's just, it's just a really pretty blush that I've been wanting for a long time and it's a satin finish. And there's just a quick swatch of it right on my finger. So it's this really kind of, you know, very wearable pink, corally pink blush. Okay, and then next I picked up a couple more drugstore products. So one of the ones I got is um, this Catrice eyeshadow, and this is a reformulated one of Heidi Plum. Um, and I have the original Heidi Plum, and I think it's so stupid because they reformulated it and they called it the same name, but to me it's a completely different eyeshadow. It looks nothing like the original Heidi Plum. This one is like a shimmery aubergine, and the original is a much darker purple, and it's a matte shade. So this to me is a completely different color. And this is actually what I'm wearing here on my eyes today, like the purple part right there. That's um, this eyeshadow. And what I like to layer below that are the Maybelline color tattoos. I picked up two more of these. Um, I think I have four now. And here in uh, Europe, they have a straight up black one, which is really cool. This is not the same one as in North America. I think that one's called Asphalt, and it's kind of like this shimmery gray. And this one is straight up black. Um, and then I also got the bronze one, and here it's called On and On Bronze, but I think it's the same one as the bronze one in North America, just the names are different. Um, but the black one is definitely different. I don't know, maybe maybe you guys will be getting the black one in North America. I didn't see it when I was there at Christmas when I bought the original ones. Um, but these are really awesome eyeshadow primers. You can use them as cream eyeshadows by themselves, but I like to kind of use them you know, by themselves, and then put the eyeshadow on top. So it's kind of your option of whatever you want to do. And I did review all four of them, and I kind of took a lot of swatch pictures and comparisons and stuff like that, and I posted that on my blog. Check out the link, I will put it to below this video in the info. And then I also picked up two more um, nail polishes from the drugstore that I really like. I got the Catrice Ultimate Nudes, and this one is called Moulin Rouge Light. So it's this light um, pink, like a creamy pink tone. And then another one that I picked up is from Manhattan. And that is also a drugstore brand here in Europe. And this one is called um, Lotus, the Lotus Effect Nail Polish. And this is 51K. And it's this beautiful pink tone. Because I realized I don't really have a lot of pinks in my collection. And I wanted one that wasn't neon. I wanted just kind of like a Barbie pink. <laughs> and then I also picked up a few um, bath products from um, DM. Because they have their own, um, own in-house, I guess, line. It's called Balea. So I picked 
picked up the shower gel and the body lotion of Zuckerschnute and I love the name it's just like a cute name and it has this really pretty scent that I don't know it's like a lemon pie or something like it smells a lemon cream it smells exactly like a lemon cream pie and then I also got another one from the Balea I got the splashy kiwi shower gel and this one obviously smells like kiwi but it also smells kind of like something else like I don't know like a fresh kiwi milkshake or something it has like I don't know some kind of other kind of creamy smell in it and also from the drugstore I bought a couple new hair products because I've been really wanting to go with that kind of you know matte um, you know tousled look and I didn't really have any products to get that effect so one of the ones I got is also from Balea this one is called trend it up matirende styling pasta so it's like a mattifying styling paste and it looks like that inside and it's quite creamy I thought first it would be really stiff but it's not it's it's very creamy inside and it just gives a mattified look so I used it today on my hair and just put it like here in the in the front section to kind of make these um, these parts a bit more defined and have a bit more like edginess to them and then I also got another product that I've been hearing a lot about on different blogs and it's the Schwarzkopf um, got to be powderful it looks like this little salt shaker and basically you like put some into your hair well I, I don't want to well maybe I'll just do it once but I've already put some in it you put it in and at first it, it looks like a dry shampoo but it's not when you start to like emulsify it like this it actually like volumizes your hair because it's not like a dry shampoo it looks exactly like a dry shampoo when I bought it I thought nah, it's probably just like a dry shampoo but it's not it has something sticky in it that when you start touching it like that there's almost like a cooling effect which is really strange and then it starts to turn into kind of like a gel which is kind of hard to describe but it, it definitely turns into some kind of like a holding you know styling product and it's really good for getting volume so then you just kind of go like that and it adds like a ton of volume to your hair and um, it definitely works like it does kind of make your hair a little bit sticky so I'm using this on my second this is my second day of um, hair like second day hair and then I also picked up a can of the um, Elnet um, the hairspray this is like the large bottle because I think these are really good um, hairsprays and this is the unscented one and then I also purchased two of these um, skincare products. This is my go-to um, moisturizing. This is the Tolerian Riche from La Roche-Posay and La Roche-Posay it's a French skincare brand that's available at um, apothecaries and the Tolerian range also is fragrance free, perfume free, um, uh, paraben free, doesn't have any kind of like irritants in it so for people who have like very sensitive skin this is a really really good cream and I do actually have a whole video dedicated to my skincare routine and what products I use so if you want to know kind of everything that I use go and check out that video. So I've also picked up some clothes in recent purchases so I thought I'd show you some of them right now. So one of the things I purchased is this really cute sweater and this is from Vero Moda which is um I don't know exactly what country it's from but they have the stores here and it's this really light very very light sweater it's like a knit sweater but it's very very thin so it's like a perfect spring sweater and it's this really bright pink and it has this really cute bow um, like a tie in the front so and that one is made of this is like made of a different material it's almost like a silk it's not silk but it's like a really really light fabric then I got another top from Veramoda and it's this one and it's a very light like light gray and kind of a shimmery silver stripes so in the front it's like very plain but on the back it has this little cute zipper detail um, so I think this you know you can wear it like that and I think this is really fun to combine with brighter colors like I'm doing a lot of these kind of color blocking and trends outfits at the moment and this is kind of a really nice top that goes with it and the sleeves are I think they're three-quarter length so they don't go all the way down it's just a very very light you know nice fabric for spring and I also picked up a pair of jeans at Veramoda and they have really awesome colorful jeans right now so I got these hot pink ones I know some people were asking me about these because I wore them in a previous video and showed them just briefly and I got the um, 32 length because I, I don't want them like super long I want them kind of a bit shorter for spring 
Um, yeah, really, really nice bright fabric. They are skinny, uh, skinny leg, so they kind of like really fit your body. So that's the back. They have two pockets. So they're just like plain jeans, but really cool colors. They have like in lots of different colors. So I love these. I've been wearing them so much. And then I also got a scarf that I've been wearing in a few of my videos and pictures that I have posted on Instagram. So it's this um, kind of like a lemon, almost like a pastel lemon scarf and this is an infinity scarf so it's like it goes all the way around in a circle like that and um, this one I also got at Vera Moda <laughs> so it looks like that or you can you know you can even do it one more if you want a bit tighter but you know you can wear it like this on top of I don't know you can wear it with a blazer but yeah I really like this color it just adds like a nice pop of brightness to an outfit that's otherwise a bit more like a bland you know if you wear like I don't know a white jacket or like a gray top or something this is just a really nice way how to incorporate like spring into your outfits I've been doing a lot of running lately like jogging and you know doing like um, endurance training so I needed some just some basic uh, tank tops to wear so I like the racerback ones these are from the divided line um, from H&M so I just got three different ones like three different colored ones they're the all the same cut they're very light fabric so I wear these with like a sports bra underneath I wanted one that isn't too long so they don't you know they just reach you know kind of my waist area I didn't want the long ones because for running it kind of tends to ride up when you're moving a lot I got this pink one and a bright yellow one <laughs> So this is really just for jogging, although I think some of these would work really well just in the spring with shorts or whatever. And then I also got another one of the basics um, from H&M, it's just a plain white. And this is a like a normal, um, you know, backing, it doesn't have the racer back. So and I have this already in a black and I thought a white one is really good because they're just basics. You can throw them on with pretty much anything like with blazers or, you know, shorts and whatever. And then I got this black top also from Vera Moda and this is maybe a little bit harder to show you. Um, it's quite like a loose fitting top and what's interesting at the top here is that this is like a see-through, there's like a see-through panel right at the shoulders. So the shoulders at the top, um, you can see through them. So that kind of makes it a bit more fun. And it's, it's kind of a longer shirt. So at the end it has like down here, um, it has this longer panel that goes kind of over your hips that holds it together in the back. So that's a really nice top. I think that one is kind of maybe harder to imagine. I might have to do like an outfit of the day or something so you can probably properly imagine it, but it's, it's really nice, like a nice fit. It's very comfortable and it just looks kind of a bit more interesting with those see-through panels at the top. And then I also hauled a few things from ASOS.com. Things I wanted is a really, really small purse. So I got this one. This one was on sale. And this is from the Misha Barton line. This was like marked down in one of their sales and it's really, really small. Um, I like to wear it like across body purse like that. A little compartment on the front. So inside it's purple, which is kind of neat. And then you can put like your cell phone in here and a few things. And then in the back, there's like a little middle pouch, which you can even put something in. And then there's another pouch here. So that's the, I think this is the back of it. Sometimes, you know, when I'm going out to like a bar or something, I don't want to take a ton of things and I don't really want to, you know, have to carry a bulky purse in the evening. So that one is really convenient. And then I bought another purse from um, River Island from ASOS. So yeah, it's a River Island purse and it has these tassels on the front. And on the picture, I wasn't sure if it was navy blue or black. And I was like, oh, I'll just let myself be surprised. Um, but it is black and it has these cream colored tassel on the front and then some gold detailing. And then it has this flap up here. So that's what the purse looks like. And then you can zip it open on the top. And then it's just like one big compartment in here. I don't like um, to always carry my purse on my shoulder. So it has, um, you know, a long strap. So you can wear, you know, a cross body again. And because it has those ivory, this ivory color, I think this would be for, perfect for spring and summer as well because a black, black purse maybe is a little bit too dark for the summer, but with the ivory detailing, I think it makes it a bit more, you know, fun. And then I also bought a pair of sunglasses and I showed these on a picture that I was just wearing them on Instagram and so many of you wondered where they're from. So these are the glasses, they're really huge, but I think they look really fun if you have like, you know, big hair, it kind of matches, 
you know, the whole thing. And I just personally prefer larger frames. I know some people think this is like way too big for, for their own face, but I prefer, I prefer the large sunglasses. They really cover my entire eye area so I don't get blinded by the sun. And I just think these tortoise shells look kind of retro and you know, funky. So these are also from ASOS, but they weren't like super expensive, maybe like 18 or 20 pounds or something. And last but definitely not least is a blazer. And I warn you, you might have to put on your own pair of sunglasses at the moment because this color is so bright. Are you guys ready? Ta-da! <laughs> it is so bright. It's like almost like a neon yellow. Um, and this is, I got this at H&M, but I think this might not be available everywhere anymore because I bought this at Christmas time. Um, I wore this yesterday when I went shopping and I cannot even tell you how many compliments I got on this blazer and people asking me where it was from. And even like, I went to this like in a really, really high end store just to like browse. And the sales lady was like, oh my God, that blazer is amazing. And I was like, mm, it's from H&M, you know, like inexpensive. There's a little button that you can close here on the front. So it's kind of like a loose, kind of like a boyfriend cut. So you can wear it open as well. Um, and I like to wear this with like a scarf. So I had, uh, yesterday I was wearing blue jeans, like not not blue as in blue jeans, but like blue, like actually the color blue. And then I was wearing this blazer and um, this kind of turquoise scarf with it. And I cannot tell you how many people were like commenting on my outfit. They were like, oh, it's so bright and so fun, but like positive. Um, so yeah, I'm loving this whole like colorful trend and I think it, it works really well with black. So that concludes this haul and I thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, make sure to go check out the info bar below this video. I'm gonna have lots of links there to some of the things I mentioned in this video and you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter because I like to update you guys there a lot and like I post pictures from my Instagram and I you know ask you guys questions on what videos you want to see next and right now I'm doing a little giveaway there so um, if you want to participate and interact with me I would absolutely love that so definitely go and click on that info bar down here for all the details and thanks so much you guys for watching I hope you guys have an amazing week coming up and I will see you very soon. Bye!